We always love to check in with our friends from Animal Samaritans. And uh, of course, Tom has brought another furry friend that's looking for a forever home. Uh, Tom Snyder joins us with Rocky, who is absolutely adorable in his Halloween costume. Right. And he's ready for Barktober. That's right, AKA Pumpkinhead Rocky. He uh, <laughs> just a pup still. He's a little bit sleepy. He was racing around in the hallway. Um, but he's going to be at Barktoberfest, like you mentioned, and that is happening this Saturday from 10 to 1 at the river. And uh, we'll have lots of adoptable pets there, including Rocky. Uh, we're also going to have, there'll be a, a pet masseuse there. Um, and uh, obviously a, a pet uh, Halloween costume contest. So now the costumes are not for every pet. And so pet owners usually know if my dog and, or cat is like not having it, is fussing, is stressed, if there's any, you know, sign that they don't, uh, they're not breathing well, just ditch the costume. Yeah. It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth the aggravation no. to the pet or to you. I have two dogs. One can't stand it, but he manages, he takes everything. We, I put yeah. on a football jersey. There you go. Also, yeah. and one dog loves it. He yeah. just thinks it's the greatest yeah. thing, but sometimes they're just not into exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. I've had, I have dogs that actually like the sweater and like a little, you know, they're just, oh, I'm fine. I'll sleep with this. But then I've had others is like, get this thing off of me. Yeah. So yeah, just listen to your dog. Watch their body language. Rocky is doing quite well with his costume. Oh, he's, the, yeah. He's chill. He's slept in it. He likes it. Uh, so how old is Rocky? He's pretty young. Yeah, so he's a puppy three months, and he's getting, uh, he's getting fixed tomorrow. And then he will be ready on Saturday again with the other adoptable pets. Okay, so Rocky, if you are falling in love with Rocky, as many of us here at the studio have, he will be available along with a bunch of other pets at the river, 10 to 1 at Barktoberfest. That just sounds so much fun. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, and there's prizes for, uh, you know, the uh, top costume contest. And we are getting closer and closer to Men in the Desert as well. That's right. Yeah, don't forget, that is happening December 5th, Sunday, first Sunday in December. Um, we're starting to sell tickets, and that usually is a sellout event, so... You know, we're going to be at the Air Museum. It, it, Make new sure venue you this year. Yeah, yeah, Air Museum, but uh, same format. And Susan Stein putting together yep. another great fashion show featuring men of the desert and their dogs. That's right. And it's always a great event. And I think the, the Air Museum adds something to it this year. Absolutely, yeah. And now is the time to start planning your social calendar because events are coming back. Going and up. We definitely want you at Men of the Desert to support yes. Animal Samaritans. Let me put up the information one more time before we go off to break. 760-343-3477, AnimalSamaritans.org. Barktober, Barktoberfest at the River, 10 to 1, Saturday, That's correct? That's right. Great. Tom, See always you there. a pleasure. Okay. All right. And Rocky will be there as well. All right. Jennifer and I will be right back with more here on News Channel 3, the desert's news leader. Thanks.